So we now have the first post Pixel 9a launch release and it is the April 2025 security patch. What's new, what's fixed and what else do you need to know? Well, you're in the right place because this is the Pixel update bulletin for April 2025. Before then, if you want more information on all Pixel updates, then stick around here on the channel and subscribe to get all that information as soon as it is available. I'll get you updated, you'll get all the information and yeah, you'll get some nice content too. Cheers. So if you have the Pixel 6 right through to the brand new Pixel 9a, that should be arriving for some people who have pre-ordered over the next couple of days. You should definitely now check if you have received or if you have the April security patch available on your device. It is rolling out right now. It has a number of fixes. You can sideload the OTA, but I would say be aware this time around this month, there are a few region specific OTAs, which is something to be careful with if you're gonna do it manually. Make sure you pick the right one for your, it, it, this only actually targets the Pixel 9, 9 Pro, 9 Pro XL, 9 Pro Fold. There are builds for Taiwan plus Europe. That's one combined build. There's a specific Verizon build and a Deutsche Telekom build. So yeah, be careful if you side loading this OTA, make sure you pick the right one for it to work correctly on your phone. I forgot to mention, if you wanna know how to side load things effectively and the process, if you're not confident in doing this, you wanna side load on your device and you're still waiting on the OTA and you're a bit frustrated, then go check out the link in the description below. We have a full guide on how to side load OTAs on your Pixel phone. It should work with any other phone as well, but yeah, check that link down in the description. This is filmed on the Pixel 9a. Let me know what this footage looks like as well. This is the selfie camera at 4K 30 FPS. So what's fixed with this OTA then? Well, firstly, and first up and first and foremost, is a resolution for those pesky biometric once again. I'm actually not sure how many people have been having issues recently with the fingerprint scanner since recent updates have rolled out, but Google is pushing out a fix for the fingerprint scanner and they're saying in certain conditions. We've no idea what those conditions are, but this fix applies to the Pixel 6 right through to the Pixel 9a, so it must have been something that wasn't related to the optical or even the ultrasonic scanners, probably a bit more widespread, something that was maybe a bit slow, I'm not really sure. Hopefully this means faster and more reliable unlocks or even payment and login processes because you can use your biometrics to do that. Next up is a fix for camera zoom in and out when you're using that on the Pixel 6, 6 Pro, 6a, 7, 7 Pro, 7a, and even the Pixel Fold. That's the first gen I'm talking about there. This problem has been around for a little while, judging by complaints on the Google support forums. Basically, you might have had issues when zooming during video recording or even trying to zoom past the 4x level the camera might just stick on one lens and not actually adjust, it'll just use digital zoom. Apparently anyone affected by this should have this problem resolved now with this OTA. Might also apply to stills. Most, most of the complaints we've seen is with the video, but it is hard to test this on so many devices simultaneously. So let me know if that has been fixed down in the comment sections below. Another fix for all pixels relates to screen brightness or even flickering when you're watching or streaming videos. Google Notes only mentioned streaming applications. It's just a bit generic. So there's no details on which apps directly are affected by this. Again, complaints on the support forums point to Netflix a little bit more directly. I'm not a Netflix subscriber, so I'm not sure if this has been fixed, but in theory, it could be any and all streaming applications. And that could include YouTube as, it, as the biggest streaming platform. As I said, every pixel from the 6A right through to the brand new 9A are affected by this. So let me know if the OTA has resolved any streaming problems you may have had or may have seen. The last couple of fixes in the OTA notes relate to the core UI with things like widget overlapping on the lock screen, specifically for the weather clock widget. Basically, if you have this problem, it can overlap and it looks a little bit messy. I've actually seen this a few times on my Pixel 9a since I've received my review unit, but this is said to be fixed here with this OTA and I'm gonna install it and hopefully it resolves it on my 9a which is again, a brand new device. You don't wanna have problems with it. The final listed fix for all Pixel phones is only suggesting that it's resolved Pixel launcher problems when creating or switching user profiles. I'm not sure if this is just referring to the interface or the interface slowdowns that might occur when you do switch between profiles or create them or something more substantial. Again, if you know what this is potentially referring to, let us know in the comments and if it's resolved for you. Some problems do get resolved and, and aren't common or aren't necessarily widespread and Google does note them anyway. So it is difficult to discern what actually gets resolved when the developer notes like this are a little bit generic. Sometimes it's a bit frustrating for us as well because we can't tell you what exactly has been fixed. It's also worth noting that although Gemini Live Video is technically, it is technically related to this OTA, but it's also unrelated in some ways. I think this was supposed to arrive with the OTA, but that ended up rolling out first earlier this week. Google called it the pixel drop for April, 2025, such is the value of Gemini Live Video or this Gemini Live Video function. You still need the Gemini AI advanced plan. So it's probably most of you out there with the Pixel 9 Pro or 9 Pro Fold or a 9 Pro XL because you get 12 months of that free with that device. But at least in theory, so long as the Gemini app is updated, 
and you are running a fairly recent OTA, it'll, it'll mean you get this feature. It's very impressive. I really do enjoy this and I've been testing it out quite readily over the past couple of weeks. Give it a try if you haven't already or go watch our hands-on video showcasing a few of the use cases. I think it could be really good for problem solving and all those kind of things that you might encounter day to day. The updates don't stop there though as Google is also dropping a little April 2025 update for Pixel Watches. That's the original, the two and the three. And this one looks like it's mostly about squashing bugs and problems, especially those annoying delayed notification issues that a lot of people have been seeing over the past couple of months. There is also loss of pulse detection in the US or at least preparation for it. That was actually supposed to come out back in March. But while this update does technically lay the groundwork or the foundations for it, it is rolling out in waves. So yeah, it is there, but it isn't there. It's what Google does with their updates. They kind of add them and then they don't add them. You know what I mean? Also, if you want to grab this on your watch, try tapping that your watch is up to date screen. Tap the little watch icon a bunch of times in the settings. Just keep hammering it until that gets it going. Turning off Bluetooth to make and making use of Wi-Fi also makes it download a little bit faster. They're doing bigger updates every few months now, but Fixes like this can still pop up in between. Remember, a lot of the cool new stuff actually does come through app updates these, these days anyway, and that's, that goes the same for Pixel updates themselves. Last but not least, I wanna talk a little bit about the Google system release notes. They're out, and while they cover a bunch of stuff across different devices, I wanna just give you an idea of some of the fixes because it is related to this in a roundabout way. So for phones, the Google Play services update mentions improvements to system management services, which should help with battery life and how well your device connects to other devices. There's also a fix in the Play Store update for ask the ask a question feature. So you might now see video answers when you ask about an application. Looking at some of the behind the scenes bits, the Android system intelligence and private compute services both got some logging added for um, adaptive sound and some code tweaks for smart detection. They sound like they're prepping things to work better, even if we don't see a big change right away. So while it's not a huge list of obvious fixes for everyday use, there is definitely some nice little under the hood tweaks with that Google Play system update that probably going to lead to an overall smoother experience, which I think is something that a lot of people really value the Pixel series for. But I'm hoping that battery and connectivity is another thing that gets a little bit more attention as we move forward. Get it flashed, downloaded, whatever you need to do. And basically, that's your lot. That is the Pixel Update Bulletin for April 2025. Thanks for joining me. But as always, it always is, this is community effort. I think if you have seen any improvements to your phone or something isn't working as it should, definitely let us know down in the comment sections below. It also helps us out as we know kind of what to avoid and maybe we can put those things to Google if it is something that's a little bit widespread. Thanks for watching though, and I will speak to you later.